Uh, ladies, so good to see you both again. Seriously, this film is an absolute masterpiece. So seriously, I appreciate you taking the time. Thank you so much. Yeah, I'm going to jump into this. Um, we just crossed the five-year anniversary of Jody and Megan's story being published in the New York Times. I'm sort of curious, as actors who really have a unique inside perspective into Hollywood, you see things from sort of the inside of the industry that most of us don't. What kind of changes do you feel like you've noticed, whether it be on sets or in meetings or just in Hollywood in general over the last five years? I mean, I think pretty concrete changes um, within our industry. Um, you know, there are things now like intimacy coordinators that never existed before, um, before productions. There are kind of code of conducts, um, sexual harassment, anti-harassment workshops that the whole crew and the whole cast participate in that sort of sets the standard of what is expected in terms of behavior on set. Um, so I think these are things that are in place now, standard and, and probably would be pretty difficult to worry back on, um, which has, I think, created a different environment on set. Yeah, I couldn't agree more. Um, that said, you know, I think it's I think it's really important for us to remember how, what it was like five years ago. That you know, in just five years, in some ways, we've come so far um, that it's hard to remember how how untouchable Harvey Weinstein seemed. How how impossible it seemed that someone with that much power could ever be brought to face the consequence of their actions and how brave these women had to be to come forward and speak with these journalists. Absolutely. Um, you know, Carrie, you actually have a moment in the film where as a Megan, you have to sit down and stare Harvey Weinstein into the eyes. And I, I, I love how the film really focuses on you just looking at him. I'm sort of curious as an actor, how you went into that day, how you prepared for that moment. And as an extension, in, in, in both of your years in Hollywood, did you guys ever have encounters with Harvey at parties or an award show or anything? I think the, the, the thing with that scene was that there were, um, it was really the people that surrounded him that were, um, and I don't know how much you hear of what they're saying, but they are essentially trying to discredit everything that's been said. And, and in doing so, are taking down women um, who've come forward and I think it was that feeling of um, these women being disrespected and not believed and treated and with overwhelming evidence um, that really kind of fueled that whole scene. Um, so I feel like um, it wasn't just about one person, it wasn't about one man, it was about a sort of sense of the injustice of, and also at that point in the story, Megan and Jodie had so much information, they had so many stories. There was very little that they could end up putting into the article because at that point people weren't prepared to go on the record. Um, so they had this wealth of information. They, they knew what they had, but they, the frustration was, you know, and I think they even say in the film, there's a risk that we'll go to our graves knowing this and um, nothing will change, you know. Without giving it away, Zoe, the moment that you find out that we're going to get someone on the record, like just like you could hear an audible gasp in 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 the room. I'm going to cut you guys loose on this. Um, you know, really one of the most important things the movie emphasizes is the emotional toll that the story took on Megan and on Jody. That it really impacted them physically and emotionally. Uh, you're professional actors, but you're also human beings. So I'm curious, what sort of toll did this story take on you? Like, I can't imagine that this story wouldn't weigh on you during the production of the film in some way. You know. I think we felt so missionized to tell the story and to tell it the right way um, that that sort of took over when we were exhausted and when the days were hard. You know, we really felt the, that the story was bigger than us. I think also, you know, Jody has talked about going home to her daughters and sort of like letting them envelop her and feel like they took her away from the weight of the thing that she was reporting on. And I, I really felt that coming home to my kid and putting her to bed at night and feeling like, grounded back in my motherhood and we talk a lot about like the juggle of motherhood and h how much harder that can make doing your job um, finding that balance but I, I think having my kid also reminded me at the end of the day every day w why this story was important to tell. 
and I'm so glad you did. The film is an absolute masterpiece. Uh, Carrie, I still have the picture of you and my dog that you took whenever say. you're in Chicago. <laughs> yeah. And she's here. She's being very quiet. She's being very good. Aww. And about once every two or three weeks, someone comes in and goes like, how, how does your dog know Carrie Mulligan? And it's, it's one of my favorite stories <laughs> to tell in the world. Friends. Very yeah. good friend. She, she asks about you all the time. She says hello. Yeah. But ladies, seriously, I mean, the film's a masterpiece. And, and I cannot thank you enough for your time and just for making the film. So seriously, thank you very much. Thank you so much. Have nice a wonderful day. Uh, guys, this movie is an absolute masterpiece. And seriously, it's an honor to be able to cover this junket. So seriously, thank you for taking the time. Thank, thank you. you. Uh, I'm going to jump into this. Uh, we just crossed the, the five-year anniversary of Jody and Megan's story being published in the New York Times. I'm sort of curious, as actors who have a unique inside perspective into Hollywood, you see things from the inside of the industry that most of us don't. What sort of changes do you feel like you've noticed on sets and meetings, just in Hollywood in general, over the course of the last five years? The set's completely changed. Um, the, the set is uh, chock full of... Um, uh, uh, women, um, uh, people of different races and, uh, and, and colors, um, the trainings that we go through in terms of harassment and respect in the workplace are uh, comprehensive. Uh, everyone goes through them. Uh, everyone on the set is accountable. Um, things have radically changed in the 40 years that I've been in the business. Things have radically changed and for the better. I, I, I've, of course, we came up through the 80s and 90s with behavior that is now absolutely intolerable. And I think that bringing down one of the, if not the biggest man in Hollywood, um, it, was, it was a boom heard around the world. And I think uh, there is safety in numbers. We have increased exponentially the amount of women behind the camera, in front of the camera. You know, women are now you know, first of all, we're 51% of the population, and now it feels like we're closer to 51% on sets. And so, whereas it used to be probably 10, 20% at best. And um, uh, it's a new day in Hollywood. It's a new day. We still it's a have long a way to, to go. go. Yes, yep, yes. yep, absolutely. Um, yeah. I think some of the most tense scenes in the film are as crazy as it sounds when Harvey is on the phone. It's a testament mm -hmm. to Maria's work as a director and your work as actors, just how mm -hmm. tense those scenes are. I'm curious how you guys approached those moments in the film as actors. And I'm genuinely curious, did either of you ever have any run-ins with Harvey in the industry over the course of your career? I, I don't know Harvey and uh, I've never worked with him, but you have. I, I, I did, yeah. I did. I uh, was deeply and profoundly bullied by this man uh, during a, a movie he had produced. And um, fortunately, I was never sexually abused by him, but I, he, when he came at you, he came at you. And um, it was, I, I think back on it now, and I cannot believe that all of these people around him let him treat me that way. And I was one of many, 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 many people he was bullying and abusing. And I think, um, in the end, I survived, and I, in the end, he did not ruin my career. Ha ha, I'm sitting here, he's in jail, so, uh, in my pink pantsuit. So, um, all right. Uh, <laughs> but I, I think uh, it, was, it was eerie when we were doing these scenes with Harvey. It was eerie for all of us because that great actor who played Harvey was so, the timbre and tone, he was so close to the bone of Harvey. It was unbelievable. And uh, it, it, and, and the, the power of Maria to really just keep us tight in those scenes. And so um, it, it was a remarkable moment. It was life and art merging. <laughs> Well, the film is an absolute masterpiece. And I just want to say thank you to you guys for, for making it because we do junkets every day, but we don't often do junkets for movies where you feel like, oh, this is this is going to make a difference. This is this could be a watershed moment for a lot of people. So I just want to say thank you for your time. I know you have a busy day, but seriously, the film is absolutely phenomenal. And I just truly appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you so much. Thank you, guys. Take care. Going, we don't need roads.